there comes a time when an ESBR stage has a little bit more hands than you had bargained for, and today, that is exactly what the case is. What's going on, everybody? My name is Vilify, and we are back with some more Extreme Super Battle Road. So, uh, June 6, 2023, uh, we have the new Majin Power category stage. Uh, here's the team we're rocking with. You guys saw it in the beginning of the video. This is basically uh, an LR Super Boo puts on a show type of uh, run, but with that being said, this stage is a little bit harder than uh, what may meet the eye because of uh, one simple thing. The Majin Power category is a team that is mostly based around the concept of healing, not based around the concept of tankiness, not concept of offense, not defense. It is just kind of like it can deal respectable damage, but at the same time, it also has this concept of you are going to outheal whatever damage the uh, opponent can do. Similar to how Majin Buu was in the anime, the manga, whatever you guys consume Dragon Ball through, you guys should know that whatever damage Goku, Vegeta, Gotenks, Vegito, uh, Gohan, uh, literally everybody, they could take a blast, shoot it, go through his chest, it would leave a massive hole, he would be like, I can't believe you've done this or whatever, and then just like smile and then regenerate it, right? Lose his head, regenerate it, lose his arms, regenerate it put himself into a million pieces, and then form himself an, an individual Majin Buu out of all about a thousand of those pieces. That was kind of what Majin Buu's whole gimmick was. It wasn't that he was... He was extremely powerful, don't get me wrong, but what made Majin Buu so strong or so, uh, so fierce of an opponent was the fact that he, no matter what damage you did, he just kept going. And that was the, the problem, right? Like, when Goku talks about the fight with Kid Buu, it's like, oh, I could have done this, but Vegeta wanted to turn it. It's also like, you just don't have any quit in you. I don't know how the hell we're going to beat you, right? Um, so that's kind of the idea, right? Like, tangent aside, uh, the idea is that this team is meant to take uh, 400,000 damage on a turn and heal 200,000 of it back up, or take 80,000 damage and neglect that to zero with the healing that we have. So... That is why this stage is a little bit difficult, because Extreme Super Battle Road, most of the time, is just Super Battle Road, and the devs, they go in, they do this insanely difficult process where the numbers that the opponents have, they make them higher. It's very, very complex, and there's so many different factors that go into them making these numbers just a tad bit higher. It takes an extreme amount of effort to go in and change that one to a two, you know? It, it, that, that's basically the whole concept of Extreme Super Battle Road, right? So when you have these 2019, 2020 units in here that are taking, you know, they have 180k defense, which was acceptable in the Goku event back in 2020, and throwing them into a 2023 ESBR setting where these enemies are hitting extremely hard, uh, it can make things a little bit difficult. So um, that is why we have uh, this 2023, the best part two release of all time, uh, LR Super Boo. Uh, really helped out Kale's team. Like, when you think about Dokkan Fest Kale, you just immediately think of LR Super Boo and how helpful he is for her. But, jokes aside, you guys can see that uh, LR Super Boo is putting on a show here with the uh, AoE. Uh, that's the idea. You know, you want to get like that 15, 16 million AoE and then hope both of them crit, and most of the time that is going to one shot the field. And so that's why we are going with uh, that specific unit. Now, if I had my own version, this would be a lot easier. But as you guys can see, we are running the Transformation Boost team with uh, the Majin Buu leader skill or the LR Super Buu leader skill. Now, one issue that I think I ran into is I decided to run Janembu, and I don't believe he is on one of the leader skills. So that was kind of a skill issue on my part. But blame me playing in Japanese where I can't read it for that type of stuff like that happening. And we also have uh, our boy Fit Buu on the team as he has an, a, ch a chance to stun which can be very important, and I was doing something on the side while I was playing this stage, so you guys are going to see, I believe I use an item right here when I have no reason to, so I just waste a Whis, even though, I mean, it, the, you guys have seen this video, so it doesn't matter, but that was a waste of a Whis because I didn't notice that Trunks was stunned. So, that's what happens when you play a game on the side when you're trying to grind out ESBR, because I was like, this might not even be the run, I gotta, like, make sure that we even get this in the first place, that's how much pro trouble... So like what I did was like usually so when you guys are looking at my screen if you look up on the top you could see like um, next to Beast Gohan's head there's like that little red bar right if that bar is red that means this is a screen recording if that bar is not red that means it's live and usually like you could just tell by like the demeanor the way I'm doing it where I'm saying like do this boom 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 like that's usually when you can tell that I'm like doing it as I'm recording it but this one is a post recording because I tried two screen recording runs when I woke up before I did the easy A for uh, the Go Bros and I got clapped up, so I'm like, okay, let me wake up, let me kind of do my thing, and then after I do that, we'll come back and beat this. Um, just because, like, usually with ESBR, you expect it to be a cakewalk, and then turns out it's not a cakewalk, and then it's like, oh, okay, I actually have to kind of man up and try here, <laughs> so... Um, 
This was kind of cool to use Super Boo where he really can shine. Because really the only time that I've used Super Boo was during an easy A, I believe. Um, what I've been doing on the side in this game has been grinding titles for easy A's. So it's like I've been went to the bottom and going to like stage 77. So like in a couple of like stages where like artificial life forms is a big buff. He's been very helpful. So that is kind of where I've been using him. But right here you're going to see the idea is that we want to use the Ghost Usher on the turns the Super Boo isn't here, and then we want to use damage reduction with Super Boo. The LR Super Boo is on the rotation, because if we do that, that means we have the potential to uh, get a buff on the attack. So we want like Super Boo to take all the hits so he can get built up. And then when we get that AoE, it hits for 13, 14 million, and then hopefully that one turns the, uh, the phase. But honestly, I got unlucky in this run, and it just didn't happen. So... Uh, super, super easy. Uh, not super, super easy, but super, like, seamless run here. It's just very item-dependent. Um, I'm not worried about a no-item run for a stage like this. Maybe if I had two super boos, but unfortunately I do not have my own. I uh, can't really justify summoning for a unit like that, um, when Tenabata's right around the corner worldwide in a couple months. It just feels like Anniversary was, like, yesterday, and we're already close to the <laughs> Tenabata, so that's fun. But, uh, you guys can see, uh, Super Boo decided, or Boo Tanks decided he wanted to kind of ball out right there. I'm pretty sure he did a double or a triple super. Always nice when that happens. Uh, Boo, uh, Fit Boo did his stun, and Fit Boo getting that stun, I thought might have screwed up the run, but right here, what we do is we throw, uh, we probably put Super Boo in slot one. We would ha probably have to put him in slot one, right? It's funny, I did this 30 minutes ago, and I already forget what the hell I was doing. Yeah, so Super Boo go in slot one, and that kind of worked out because... When Super Boo's in slot 1, uh, Boo, uh, what's it called? Super Saiyan 3 Goku was stunned. So now the only way that this is going to like kind of work out is we're only going to take like one or two hits right here. I do believe Vegeta does do a super, and that ends up doing like, I think, double digits because we kind of jacked him up, right? Um, like, he's got uh, damage reduction going, we have damage reduction going. Yeah, double digits because we used the Nurse Chi-Chi. And then 16 million for the AoE. That is usually enough to say goodnight. I believe Vegeta survives this. Yeah, because we don't get the crit. And then, uh, <laughs> leave it to our good friend. Oh, no, Super Boo does finish the job with the additional. So there you guys go. Uh, Majin Power ESPR, uh, a little bit harder than I had bargained for it, like I said. But, uh, let me know down below, are you guys excited for the stage? Are you going to be summoning for Super Boo when he comes out on Global? Uh, let me know all that fun stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy today's video. Subscribe if you are new and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my Dokkan content. Thank you guys for watching. My name's Vilify. It's been a pleasure hosting for you, and I'll catch you guys next time.